Okay, we moved here. Uh, we are still with our colleague, but uh, you find somebody which is more specialized. Yeah. Someone um, can help us to introduce the LCD series uh, display. Okay, so explain us what this very cool technology is. Okay, so first uh, here you can see the 120 hertz uh, uh, display. This one actually, because traditionally we have a 60 hertz display, but then the latest technology allows us to to use a, a higher refresh rate. Uh, you can see the effect here, and for the moving picture, it's much more clear yeah. than this one. And that's just because in the um, LCD display, when you show pictures, you replace the first one and the second one, uh, the first one with the second one. So if you have uh, more pictures in one second, and then you will see everything become closer. That's why you think it's clear. It's um, very clear. So, but for this kind of uh, monitor, you need the um, fairly good computer, you need a, a graphic card, independent graphic card, to generate 120 hertz signal for you. Yeah, this is 120 hertz. So this is very good for gamers. Yeah, that's right, that's right. And here we are showing this technology to people, we are going to bring this product to, to the market in the third quarter. And of course, that will be our gaming series. Yeah. Um, I also heard you guys have wireless uh, monitors. Yes. Let's, let's have a so look the, over there. This monitor, it's uh, this computer's monitor, but as you can see behind, we don't have any cable connecting these two computers, and all the signal from this computer come through this antenna, and this is not a very special one. It's just an express card. We use ultra wideband to send the signal to these two antennas, one for video, one for audio. Does it plug in any? Is it is it specific to this monitor? Yeah, this monitor is specifically. Uh, wireless, but you can also, I guess, plug an adapter in any other monitors. Yeah, the ultra wideband. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is very nice. This, is this product already available? No, not yet. Okay. Not yet. Okay. We currently we don't have a plan. Uh, we don't have a, a certain plan when we are going to launch it. Okay. Yeah, but the, we first want to show people it is possible to get rid of the cable. But it's not finished yet. No, this one you see is a prototype. Uh, last thing about the displays, which is really amazing, is the USB uh, and thing. This is plugged to a, just a normal netbook. Yeah, actually, it's. Uh, so this is amazing. Yeah, I just c I connected to the EPC. Yeah. It's a netbook. Yes. And the idea of this is, you you simply connect to uh, uh, through a USB cable, yeah. and you can you can connect up to six monitors, okay. and then. Uh, because our mon our monitor has a USB hub, so you can use it as a docking station. That means, actually, I connect this computer to this monitor, to this one, and then to this one. So it's a chain. Yeah. And then I connect my keyboard and mouse to this monitor. And now, last thing, last thing I have to do is I connect this computer to uh, this monitor to my computer, yeah. and then everything works. So and how does this work? The monitors, they have a graphic card inside them, right? No. Uh, no. Where's the graphic card? The, we don't use graphic card. It's actually we install a um, driver in the uh, netbook, and the system will recognize it as a, a virtual graphic card. It's not a real one. So we use CPU power to display everything. Yeah. So the other way around, instead of using the GPU. Uh, we use CPU power. Okay. So yeah. The other way around. as. Uh, that's right. Okay. That's, that's very interesting. Does, so that needs a driver, right? Yeah, we need a driver. So it's only running on Windows? Uh, it's running on Mac OS and Linux as it's well. It's running on Mac OS? Yeah. That's very interesting, okay. And is this already available? This one is already available. Just as a final question to uh, Asus here in this amazing booth, um, I'm blown away by all the technology you guys present here. Uh, I would say, like I said once again, the only negative point that I see, it's not your fault, it's the OS. <laughs> so I send it to, C to Seattle or Redmond. Uh, but the whole hardware is, and the, the innovation is really, really nice. So obviously I'm more a Mac guy, but I love the competition. And I hate that Adobe is the only one, for example, now in the graphic market, for example. I love that now um, Apple and Asus and Adel and all the others are pushing each other in the back and innovating. And I hate companies that are not innovating, like I'm, I'm not going to name any. 
So you guys are innovating, which is really cool. And 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 you guys brought the the netbook really to to its stand. And I have the feeling like two, three, four years ago, as this was not such a big deal. So what made it? Uh, first of all, the uh, the introduction of the EPC it just changed the rules of the market and also uh, was a, a good um, uh, drive to um, uh, for the growth. Um, uh, actually, now we are speaking of the family of a whole family, the E family um, that um, actually has uh, many different uh, product lines. The EPC uh, with a lot of models and uh, different kind of products. Uh, the E-Box, uh, it's a uh, series as well because uh, it does feature uh, many uh, already uh, some, uh, some different products uh, with different features as well. And also introducing the E-Top or even the E-NAS PC or even the E-Keyboard PC. So family is uh, still growing and enlarging and still contributing to the growth in a very uh, deep and massive uh, way, uh, so that um, uh, innovation uh, is still uh, among the pillar. Uh, it's one of the pillar of the strategy uh, that Ashu Asus is still pursuing to even grow uh, faster and even get better and better results, and just to um, uh, provide people uh, better products, uh, products that are easy to use and can um, bring you better uh, in user, uh, user experience. We have seen lots of different products here over the last half hour, lots and lots. Half of those are not yet ready, prototypes, which is good for you, which is you give us a look in the future. Other company will wait that the products are finished. It seems like as this is once again in the direction of innovation, pushing to the future and saying, hey guys, look, we're working on this thing. Some of those products, well, some are almost finished, but others are like the concept double side PC. They might not even see the light of the day one day. Why do you think it's important to show the technologies you're working on? Well, actually, when you see the, those prototypes, it, uh, I can tell you that we have studied inside for that kind of technology for quite a long time. Yeah. Like uh, the wireless uh, monitor, I tell you it's a prototype. Actually, it's a prototype, but we have studied the, the wireless technology, wireless monitor technology for around a year yeah and we think it's the right time to show people that that is that it is possible maybe some other new technologies come in doing the same thing but first we can let people know this is the first beginning this is the beginning you can see it and then maybe you can expect something better but then you can expect that this is the future yeah just like uh, the 120 hertz yeah you can expect that uh, you can buy these kind of things in the near future. Thank you very much. Uh, I wanted to say uh, for this amazing booth presentation, you guys have amazing products and uh, I wish you good luck. Uh, what was the feedback over the, over the week uh, of all the people visiting? The booth. All visitors mm, uh, really uh, were really excited about so many new products and so um, so featured pro so many featured products and also dr uh, the attention uh, was uh, driven also to products that are very near to the um, uh, to the launch. I mean, uh, e touch uh, touch screen PC, e keyboard and. So, driving people crazy. Okay, thank you. Okay. See you at Sebit next year, right? Okay. okay.